Hello, I'm Hello Gabius and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I encourage you to subscribe, hit that notification button and like this video. Today I want to talk to you guys about weight loss. So what a cliche. It's New Year's. Everyone's uh, New Year's resolution is going to be to lose weight. So yes, one of my New Year's resolution is to lose weight. And I want to talk to you more about that. I want to give you a little bit of history of how I have struggled with my weight. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an ongoing. And I think that my story may be the same for uh, some of you guys. Uh, I've tried many diets um, and my weight just goes up and down. I think that I've tried pretty much everything that I could and uh, it doesn't work, of course. Um, and what I have found the best thing is just diet and exercise. It's the most easiest thing, but the hardest thing to do, right? Stop eating all that junk food that we are so used to, the comfort food. Uh, you know, 2020, what a rotten year it's been. And, you know, some of us can contribute our weight gain because we were just at home. What else were we going to do? We caught up on all of our Netflix series and, you know, we have our, our food there with us just eating and eating away. So I want to show you also some pictures of myself so you can see the struggle that I've gone through. Um, and I do want to start with this first picture. And I am in high school here. This is 1993. And I am 107 pounds, so I was very active in high school, and I was, remember, I am petite. I am 4'11". Uh, jumping now to 2006, I married my husband. And here, uh, I did have to lose a little bit of weight. So from 1993 to 2006, obviously a lot happened. And I did have to lose weight for my wedding. And... I am 120 pounds here. Now, here I am celebrating Oktoberfest and I love to drink. Alcohol is my friend. Here is, I think about 2014, I'm 160 pounds. So per the BMI calculations, I am obese. Not just overweight, I'm obese. Next picture, it's when uh, the company I used to work and we're celebrating, I think, Cinco de Mayo. And here uh, is a picture with my cousin and it's Halloween. And as you can see, this is how I used to look. As you can see from this picture, I really was, you know, a big person. Now, I went to my doctor, did the blood work, you know, I'm still thinking I'm fine. And he said, guess what? You are pre-diabetic now. So he said, I'm not going to put you in any pills. Um, you can still lose the weight. You can still turn this around. And he told me, you need to get on a diet plan. You need to do something, but stop what you've been doing. And I started to, you know, work out. And then I would go back because, oh, my knee hurts. And, and he would just say, get out of my office. He said, you haven't done this in such a long time that, of course, you're going to start to hurt because you are using muscles, you're using joints that you haven't done in a long time. So he would pretty much say, don't come back till you lose the weight. So he would give me six months appointment. And what I ended up doing was get on that program that's on TV, Nutrisystem. So I was on Nutrisystem for like a good six months. It was very expensive, but it was very effective. Effective if you are on the ball with it. I was very hard on myself. I was very strict uh, to the point that I would even tell my husband, don't share with me, don't offer me if you're eating chocolate, sweets, this and that, um, because those are my weakness. I can eat a whole bag of chips and I will notice that I ate it because I'm reaching out and it's gone. I don't even realize that it, I finished it. Uh, chocolate cake, uh, a, a box of uh, Krispy Kreme, um, uh, all my friends and family know that I can really put away a good chocolate cake and that is not exaggerating so being on Nutrisystem um, it was very hard because you are now restricting your diet to only 1200 calories a day 
and uh, but I stuck with it and luckily so now this picture I want to show you after being from the last picture to now this picture so this is me I actually met my goal I ended up losing 25 pounds and so with Nutrisystem every time you do like every five or ten pounds they give you a little bear so I actually have a purple, a red, and a yellow bear. The yellow bear is when you actually met your goal, so you're pretty much done with the program and now have to maintain it. So yeah, cool. I lost my pounds, I'm good. Um, nothing else to worry about. But it is as hard to maintain your weight as it is to lose it. And the ones that have lost weight and has gained it back, you know exactly what I mean. I have been up and down. As you can see from my pictures, I, I th that's just me. I, I don't know why, maybe it's psychological, maybe I need to go to a psychiatrist, I don't know. Years, you know, another few years go by and boom, all of a sudden I find myself, all that weight that I lost, it's back on me again. So um, I ended up quitting my job. I ended up, uh, I wanted to take away as much stress as I could. And, and thankfully, I was able to financially uh, quit my job and starting getting rid of all that junk in my head, all that stress and all of that anxiety that I had. And I think that with that, it helped me to just see a little bit things more clearly, really think about where I'm at in my life. Um, because it's what I was putting in my mouth and thinking that that was perhaps something that was making me feel better was doing obviously the exact opposite. So my husband asked me again, as he was, we've already been married at this point for 13 years and he asked me again, let's get married by church. So I said, okay, you know, why not? So I think that I was already... I don't know why we hadn't gotten married by church at the beginning, but um, I think that I was finally ready to say yes to him, uh, to marry him by church, and that is exactly what we did. But I did not want to buy a new dress. I said, I am going to wear the dress that I first wore when we married in 2006. That meant that I needed to get boom, back on a diet and lose the weight. And I said, if I cannot get married in the dress that we got married in in 2006, I'm just gonna get married in a white suit, a skirt and, and a blazer. I'm not gonna buy another dress, I'm, no. I'm gonna either wear that dress or a white suit. And that was that. Luckily, I was able to lose enough weight to wear my white dress again. And this picture, shows this is me and my husband at church and i am pretty skinny and so here i actually weighed 113 pounds i did lose quite a lot of weight so like i said i'm going back up and down up and down and here so now we got married there in 2019 and now here we are 2021 I am 134 pounds, so I have gained the weight again. So, uh, so here I go again for like the 20th time. I want to, I want to say I want to do things different, but I've done. I think that I've done it right before because when I lost my weight when I was pre-diabetic, um, I was exercising. I went. I got into a gym membership that I actually used. I used that whole year um, and I lost the weight the right way with diet and exercise. Uh, then I tried the Nutrisystem and that worked because you go down to 1200 calorie a day again uh, and it works. So this time I don't want to join Nutrisystem. I'm not going to be joining any health clubs, any gym, but I do want to subscribe to uh, Apple Fitness and I have an Apple Watch and for the ones that do have Apple TV and an Apple Watch um, know that now Apple has come out with this fitness program that you can go at your own pace. They have 10, 20, even 30 minute uh, exercising, yoga, high impact exercise, even low impact. 
Um, they have a lot of modifications from low to medium to high intensity. Um, they even have some if you have a treadmill and if you have a bicycle. Um, they have a lot of these programs that um, I definitely can use. So now I started January 1st. I already knew that from the last week of December, I already knew that I was going to, you know, I think that I'm ready. I was men mentally ready to now start my diet. January 1st, I weighed myself and this is how much I weigh. Okay, guys. Happy New Year. First day of my weight loss challenge. I really want to lose weight. So let's see how much I weigh first. So that says 134.2, okay? So I weighed myself 134.2 pounds, okay? Not a surprise, I already knew I had gained. Um, now also what I wanted to do, I did a weight tracker and that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Um, from my life planner, um, I actually made a weight tracker and I copied this information from Erin Condren's website. You can get so much information um, if you want to plan your life somehow, whatever aspect you are in, they have, they actually had something for weight loss. And so that's what I did. I kind of copied that format from that website. So this is my weight tracker here. And what I am going to do is that I want to lose a total of 20 pounds. So the pounds are basically here. There are 20 boxes here. And on here is more information about your, my BMI, uh, the weight that I started, my goal weight. And so I also included normal weight range. So my normal weight range is 92 to 123 pounds is because I'm on 411. Um, and my normal BMI should be 18.5 to 24.9. Also included another different chart from, depending on the weight that I am, I know, uh, what my BMI is. So I just wanted to just rephrase it, reword it, and, and so it can get into my head as to, I wanna make sure that I stay on track. Also, uh, here I also put that I am starting January 1st of 2021, but also ending December 31st of 2021. So I'm giving myself a year. I'm not giving myself three months, not six months. I really wanna lose the weight slowly and surely. Uh, so that averages out to 1.6 pounds a month. For sure, if I could average losing weight 1.6 pound a month, I know that by the end of the year, I would have lost 20 pounds. So now um, this is my weight tracker um, and I hope that this works for me. This is the first time that I'm actually writing things down. I'm not the type to write down what I, what I, you know, what I ate for the day because I'm very lazy and I'm just trying to find ways that's going to work for me. And I figured that this, because I use this planner like every day, this will work for me. So that is what I'm doing as one of the things to help me. Again, using that iFitness or Apple Fitness um, and just starting maybe 10 minutes a day. And, and there you go. I'm not going to try to run a marathon my very first day. So I do see myself throwing up because, you know, I'm not used to getting up and, and exercising. I haven't walked in months. So, um, and also I'm going to try because of what I learned with Nutrisystem, try to stay down to 1200 calories a day. And what I am doing, I am buying these meals. Okay, starting off the new year, this is what I'm going to eat for five days a week lunch and dinner two days off doing no jenny craig i'm not doing no nutrisystem no weight watchers no counting calories this is what i'm doing wish me luck now these healthy choice meals um are kind of what you get when you get into Nutrisystem, but i it, it's just more expensive going through Nutrisystem. i already know how that system works I can just go to Walmart. So going to Walmart, these range about $2.28 to like $3.50 
per meal. So you're either eating it for lunch or you're eating one for dinner. Um, and as far as calorie wise, they range between 190 to 340, depending on the meal that you eat. And I figured that's very easy. It's very easy for me because I don't have to worry about what I'm going to make. And yes, it's even cheaper if you buy your own vegetables and you prepare your own meals, which really should be the end goal. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I already know I'm not going to do that. Um, this is what I'm going to do for the meantime, perhaps maybe later when I am now uh, done with losing the 20 pounds. Hopefully I lose the 20 pounds. Um, maybe then I'll start to concentrate more on to getting into the habit of when I try to maintain it. Okay, really now, you know, buy your own fruits and vegetables, you know, make this meal plan, make these recipes so that I can uh, stay on track. So for breakfast, uh, it's a simple little shake that I'm drinking. It's like a little chocolate shake or my husband will make me like a banana shake. I'm going to eat one of these healthy choice meals for lunch, another one for dinner. And I also uh, like for a snack at the end of the day because when I'm going to bed, I can feel myself like, okay, I want to eat some more. I like to eat a tablespoon of peanut butter. To me, peanut butter is like eating chocolate. I could eat the whole jar of peanut butter, but I eat a tablespoon of peanut butter at night and I actually take it upstairs for me and I have it there on my nightstand. And I will eat that before I actually um, sleep so that it could like calm my stomach down and I have something at least while I'm sleeping and then in the morning you know break fast and I'm eating I'm gonna drink that shake so um, but going back to those healthy choice meals there's so many kinds and I didn't even know that they existed really there's healthy choice simply healthy choice steamers healthy choice power bowls healthy choice top chef and even wraps i didn't know healthy choice made wraps so there's a lot of variety is what i'm trying to say and they're very flavorful they're very flavorful for me um i do do not mind eating items that maybe are reduced reduced in sodium or in fat because i've kind of been used to it i already know the taste and i could be satisfied with that as long as i have something in my stomach i can do that so with that um, I really think that I can do it. Um, so I really ask for your support and please your prayers. This is my video and this is the main focus of my New Year's resolution, losing weight. So if you're going through the same battle, if you're going through the same New Year's resolution, let's do it together. And all the advice that I can give you because I've done this many times is just try to lose the weight at a slow pace because you didn't get like this in a day. You didn't get like this in a week. Um, it obviously took several months, several years for you to get to the point that you're at. And same with me. I want to lose my weight slowly but surely. And that's what I'm going to do. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this maybe inspired you to maybe try to lose weight for yourself and to be a better you. And so whatever you want to be at, whatever you think you're going to look best at, that's what you should do. So nobody should tell you this is the weight goal that you should be or this is the way that you should look. It's however you think you are going to be the most healthiest. And if you can achieve that, then more power to you. So if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload new videos. Happy New Year and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.